welcome back everyone today we are going to be creating a kind of a geo boil effect inside of maya and this is a pretty interesting abstract look and i think you'll really love creating these type of designs so let's get into it now the first of all i'm going to start off by taking a primitive let's start off by taking a sphere but you can also take any other primitive if you want now let's um, change the radius to somewhere like 2 and uh, maybe the subdivisions to 25 and 25 uh, and I'm also going to be going to super shapes and uh, sphere shape and changing the subdivision to cataclysm. Now this will just increase the subdivision level on this sphere and making it more smoother. So I think it will look pretty good. Now we have to take another primitive to clone it on this sphere. So let's take another sphere and let's scale this down. You can also take any other primitive you want. And I'm just going to go to my main sphere and let's call this big. And let's call this small. Yeah, there you go. Now let's select this. Let's scale it way down. Yeah, perfect. Where you can't see it. And uh, now let's select the sphere and go to the mesh network and click on mesh. Now, as you can see, we have linear mesh going on. Now select this, go to your attribute editor. And here you see mash distribute, which is a kind of a default uh, distribute node. Now let's change the distribution type from linear to mesh. Now here it will ask which mesh do you want this object to be cloned onto. Now I'm going to select my big by clicking middle mouse button and dropping it onto the input mesh. And there we go. So now we have our small spheres cloned onto the big sphere. Now select the mesh, go to the distribute and increase the number of points you want. I'm going to keep it to somewhere like 60 uh, or maybe 65 and just to create some randomization I'm going to go to mash and create a random node now as you can see by default it gives one uh, value on the XYZ position so let's turn this back to zero and let's change the scale to somewhere like one and click on uniform scale so you don't have to change the scale of each and every axis let's change it to somewhere like 10 maybe 8 six yeah. so i'm going to go back to my small sphere and just scale this even more to somewhere like that just a tiny bit so let's select the mash again and let's go to the random and let's change the scale value to somewhere like 15 or 18 that's about perfect and let's increase the number of points i think this is looking good and now we can kind of move on with this now let's select the sphere and let's move this up now let's create a platform for this so i'm going to select a simple plane and let's scale this up and let's turn off the grid for now and i'm going to decrease the subdivision level to one and let's go to the edge mode select this edge hit extrude bring this up hit extrude bring this back bring this up select this and this and go to the bevel and just increase the number of segments now you have a pretty interesting backdrop now let's bring this back just a little bit and select the first edge and bring this forward now we have to create another platform for this so let's uh, select kind of a cylinder and let's scale this up and maybe reduce the height of this even more and i'm going to change this to somewhere like 12 and decrease the number of caps to 0. Now I'm going to go to the face mode, select the face, hit bevel. Now increase the segments. Perfect. So let's uh, scale this up somewhere like this and uh, go to the face mode and just simply select the bottom face of the cylinder and hit delete. This will just get rid of those smooth corners. So now we have a perfect platform going on for this. So I'm going to just move this even higher and select this, bring this up. Okay, so I think this is looking kind of good enough. Now let's go back to the main cam and I'm just going to select the cam and just change the Z axis. Turn on your film gate and let's bring this right about here 
perfect so let's lock the camera and uh, i'm going to go to my render settings and change the preset to 1k resolution you can also set it to 2k when you're doing the final render but for now uh, 1k is more than enough also change the image format to jpeg and call this flat geoboy all right so let's make the camera to six four four no transmission no subsurface no volume no transmission so let's set it to two perfect so now we have something like this um, i think we have to increase the number of scale on this sphere but let's look at the ipr first so let's turn on the ipr and now you'll see nothing because we don't have any light in our scene so let's select some directional light bring this up sorry somewhere like this and now you have pretty cool lighting going on now also go to Arnold and select a sky dome light this will just give us kind of a fill light look for this so I think it's looking pretty good now now let's start off by shading this so let's select the floor first and um, let's start off by shading this sphere first okay so let's assign new material shader stand surface and let's call this big let's change the weight to 0.1 and this will be 0 0.8 0 0.5 sorry and change the color to something like this again go to your xps assign new material shader stand surface let's call this small and i'm kind of uh, decreasing the value of uh, speckler and increasing the more value on the roughness because I want it to be completely flat even I think we should go even higher for this but let's look at the render first and let's turn this on so I think it's looking pretty cool uh, I'm going to give another material to my floor stand surface and uh, let's wait to one let's call this floor 0 0.1 0 0.5 and let's change the color to something similar to this I think maybe that is like too bright for that okay so I think this is looking good enough now I'm also going to change uh, the color of this base to somewhere contrasting to match the effect press 1.5 and change the color to maybe something like this so I think it's looking good uh, but you can also change it to any other color if you want um, maybe something like this just to create a kind of a randomized pattern of this so I think now it's looking pretty good so uh, this is a kind of an interesting geoboil effect you can try it with different kind of primitives definitely uh, we can also try it with cube uh, but if you want to change anything this is like a completely procedural method you can always go back to your distribute and uh, change the number of seeds you want if you are not happy with the look like for example i don't like the placement of this spheres onto the big sphere so we can change the amount of distribution we have on the sphere to get a different kind of look now as you can see we have a different uh, kind of look going on now you can always go back and also change the randomization on this if you want to change the position overall now one thing to do a little bit extra on this is you can select another sphere and let's uh, kind of scale this down and also create another mesh network onto this and kind of changing it to grid and i'm going to make it 333 three. so as you can see right now uh, let me just go into perspective so right now we have a kind of a grid going on and in the mesh let's uh, also give offset mode and let's bring this up just about there uh, I think 1.5 I think yeah so 1.5 is good enough and let's add a randomized node and now it will just randomize the overall position on this so I don't have to change the rotation but just X and Y and uh, a little bit of scale so let's change it to 1 and that's it so also I'm going to give this existing color to somewhere like um, small maybe yeah so now you have kind of this I think it's looking pretty good 
so uh, for the render you know i think you already know the render setting just increase the number of the samples so you'll have pretty good result going on also make sure when you are rendering you have enough samples on your light as well and let's try a different variation with cubes so let's start off by deleting everything now i'm going to get rid of this let me just close this and let's delete this delete this and this as well so let's keep the base and the floor so let's start off by taking a simple cube and let's bring this up sorry and uh, i'm going to switch it to my main camera now and let's and let's just uh, kind of uh, rotate this uh, so it will just give a kind of interesting look and let's put somewhere like this so i think this is looking quite good now and let's just scale this even more so once uh, you're done with this let's create another cube let's bring this up and let's scale this down i'm going to keep this aside and go to the mesh network and select mesh now once you have selected the match let's go to a perspective view and we have linear match going on so let's go to distribute and change the type to mesh now i'm going to go to my outliner and let's uh, call this cube big and this is small so, all right so let's click on the mesh and i'm going to select my big and drop it on to sorry select my big and drop it onto the input mesh and there you go so now we have kind of uh, cubes cloned onto our big cube now let's go to the mesh network and from here we can increase the number of cubes we have and to make this interesting we have to take a random node so random node let's change the value of position to zero and here what we can do uh, increase the number of scale obviously to make it somewhere like five and also some rotations so maybe like 180 uh, 90 and 60 something like this and i think the number of points are too many on this so i think it's scattering a lot so let's keep it somewhere like 65 Go ahead. and i will just go back to my perspective view camera and i think uh, i will just go for a perfect look i think this is looking quite good so I think it's looking quite good. So let's start off by simply shading this and I'm going to apply some materials to this and let's kind of change this to maybe small this time and selecting this and changing this to the big material. And I think it's looking quite good now and uh, maybe changing the subdivision on this to Cataclog to kind of uh, give a pretty cool subdivision to this and maybe switching it to linear will be a wise idea because cataclysm will just smooth all the edges as well so uh, i think it's looking quite good now uh, the number of uh, you can always go back and change the number of points you have on this if it's too many you can lower them and, and if it's too small you can always go back and change the number of values you have so also if you want you can also add uh, some subdivisions onto this as well uh, it's totally up to you so I think it's looking quite good now and def definitely try with different kinds of primitive what kind of effect you can get by creating this kind of look and uh, there are a lot of primitives and ideas that you can go for maybe taking a tourist and spheres so have fun with this and create some interesting look and if you do create something out of it definitely try sharing with me on Instagram and uh, anyways enjoy and thank you for watching.